So uh, we take uh, some examples and apply Lyapunov theorem to determine the stability of the equilibrium points for uh, those systems. Again, uh, we start with our favorite example of the pendulum system and uh, uh, the equilibrium point of this system is at origin. Uh, this we, we are talking about, we want to discuss the stability of the equilibrium point at origin. Uh, we take uh, some function, uh, we take some function, I, is it a positive definite function? Uh, v, what is v of 0? If we substitute x equal to 0, what is this function? Zero. This term is 0, cosine of 0 is 1, so this term is also 0. So v of 0 is 0. What about other values of x? For all other values of x, it will be positive. This term is obviously positive. Uh, what about this term? Cosine of x1 is always less than or equal to uh, equal to 1, equal to 1 for uh, x equal to 0. So if x is not equal to 0, then uh, this is uh, always positive. So this function is positive definite as per the requirement of the, uh, the Lyapunov theorem. Uh, so that is uh, one uh, important observation. Uh, in this particular example, we are interested in a domain. What is the domain in which we are interested? We are interested in this domain x1 less than or equal to x1 is between minus pi and pi. We are interested in uh, this domain only. We compute the derivative of this function uh, with respect to time. That is, uh, everyone among you can compute it. So, the derivative of this term is uh, 2x2 and then the derivative of x2 with respect to time that is over here. The derivative of this term uh, 1 with respect to time is 0 and derivative of this term is written over here. What is x1 dot? x1 dot is equal to x2 and x2 dot is given by this expression. So we substitute the values of x1 dot and x2 dot. Uh, so this is called computation of derivative along system trajectories. This is also another uh, term which is generally utilized. So we have computed the derivative along system trajectories. And uh, then uh, some mathematical manipulations or some terms of, are cancelled out. This term is cancelled out with this term and uh, then uh, we are left with this term. What about the definiteness of uh, this uh, v dot? Negative definite or negative semi-definite? So it is, it is negative semi-definite that uh, you already know but I have further elaborated it over here. So we see that v dot can be 0 for x not equal to 0. For example, if we take x to be uh, this one, some non-zero x1 but 0 x2. So it still comes out to be equal to 0. It means that this is negative semi-definite uh, and that uh, means the equilibrium point is stable. The equilibrium point is stable. We have taken some positive definite function, computed its derivative and that derivative uh, came out to be negative semi-definite. It is not negative definite, it is negative semi-definite. Therefore, the equilibrium point is stable. So now the question is, uh, is the equilibrium point not asymptotically stable? To answer this question, we again uh, come back to the statement of Lyapunov theorem. So what is the statement of Lyapunov theorem? We have taken some positive definite V. Its derivative came out to be negative semi-definite. Then the equilibrium point is stable. The implication is only one directional. The theorem only gives you sufficient conditions. Sufficient conditions mean uh, if this is the case, you cannot say that the equilibrium point is not asymptotically stable. You cannot give this statement. Or even if, for example, uh, you, you take positive definite function, find its derivative along system trajectories. If it comes out to be positive definite, you cannot say that 
the equilibrium point is unstable. Why? The theorem gives you uh, sufficient conditions only. It is implication is only one directional. If this is the case, then equilibrium point is stable. If the case is opposite, then what? Sure. Theorem does not give any statement about that. That is basically uh, one limitation of this Lyapunov theorem. Otherwise, it is very general and applicable to all uh, dynamic systems. So, therefore, Lyapunov theorem gives only sufficient conditions and if this is the case, you will not be able to conclude that the equilibrium point is not asymptotically stable. We can conclude that it is stable, but we cannot say that it is not asymptotically stable. And likewise, if this V dot comes out to be greater than zero, you cannot say that the equilibrium point is unstable. Maybe someone can come up with another uh, Lyapunov function. In other, uh, this function, positive definite function, is called candidate Lyapunov function. So maybe someone uh, can come up with another candidate Lyapunov function and can prove that its derivative will be uh, negative definite. For the same system, for the same system, another student has taken this candidate Lyapunov function. Again, you see that this is positive definite. So any positive definite function can be taken as a candidate Lyapunov function. So another student came up with this candidate Lyapunov function and computed its, its uh, derivative along system trajectories. It came out to be less than zero. Uh, this term is less than zero. This term is less than zero. So uh, uh, this uh, is in this domain, in this domain, uh, this V dot is uh, negative definite. Hence, the equilibrium point is, what is conclusion? Is asymptotically stable, right? So, the equilibrium point is asymptotically stable in this domain. Uh, how to compute uh, uh, this uh, derivative v dot uh, of this function, derivative of this function with respect to time? That is uh, on this slide. So, anyway, I leave this uh, computation as a homework for you and we proceed to the next example. We have another nonlinear system and we want to determine the stability of the equilibrium point for uh, this nonlinear system and the equilibrium point under consideration is at origin. For uh, this system, uh, we take this positive definite function, candidate Lyapunov function. It is obviously a positive definite function. Uh, v of 0 is 0 and V is always positive for any value of x not equal to 0. So compute the derivative of this function uh, along system trajectories x1 dot is over here x2 dot is given by this equation. Substitute these expressions and make uh, all the calculations. So what do you think about uh, the definiteness of this function? We have again omitted uh, uh, the substitution procedure. So if you substitute x1 dot from this equation, x2 dot from this equation, and after uh, some arrangements, you get this expression. What about the definiteness of this uh, function? This term is uh, always positive, this, this factor. What about this factor? This is negative. This is negative in this region. In this region, it is negative. That is, this, uh, this will be negative definite in this domain. In this domain, in this region. So what about the stability of the equilibrium point? Right. In this domain, the equilibrium point is asymptotically stable. So for all initial conditions in this domain, the trajectories will finally converge to the equilibrium point at origin. It is negative <coughs> definite. There is a difficulty with this theory. Difficulty is how to find this candidate Lyapunov function. 
So we shall uh, study some guidelines uh, which will help us in the selection of candidate Lyapunov function. For, uh, for time being, we are just taking the candidate Lyapunov function by hit and trial. Hit and trial means we have taken some candidate Lyapunov function. If it works, then fine. If not, we have to uh, try another candidate Lyapunov function and the next example demonstrates the same thing. We have uh, this uh, uh, nonlinear system. Uh, this is uh, basically a linear system. And for this system, we have taken this candidate Lyapunov function. We know that any positive definite function can be taken as a candidate Lyapunov function. This is obviously positive definite. V of 0 is equal to 0 and V uh, is greater than 0 for all other values of x. So this is uh, a uh, candidate Lyapunov function. We compute its derivative along system trajectories and we come up with this uh, expression. So what about definiteness of this, this function? The definiteness not, uh, cannot be determined. It is indefinite. And uh, what is conclusion? With Lyapunov theorem, no conclusion. No conclusion. Definiteness cannot be determined and therefore no conclusion about the stability. And if this candidate Lyapunov function does not work, we have to uh, try some other candidate Lyapunov function. For example, we uh, select this one, uh, this one, and uh, this is obviously a positive definite function and can be taken as a candidate Lyapunov function and compute its derivative along system trajectories that comes out uh, to be equal to minus 2x2 square. What about definiteness of this, uh, this function? Negative semi-definite. Semi and what is conclusion? The equilibrium point is stable. Negative semi-definite and hence the equilibrium point is stable. Uh, in the next lecture, we shall talk about uh, uh, global stability and uh, theorems, uh, Lyapunov theorems to uh, study the global stability of uh, dynamic systems.